Hi friends, today's video is gonna be a workout for the legs. <laughs> We're gonna assume that uh, a lot of you may have not may not have equipment, some of you may have dumbbells, some of you may have resistance bands. So I'm gonna show you the different variations that you can do for this particular workout. This video is gonna to describe to you each of the exercises that you can do, and uh, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions about the exercises, put them in the comments below. If you don't already know me, my name is Gia, and I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. <laughs> Welcome. I'm also the creator of Do It Well. I make crave-worthy protein treats like cinnamon rolls and bread. You should check it out. Okay, guys, let's get started. I hope you enjoy. Before, of course, you start any workout, make sure that you warm up your muscles. And that means if you can go for a little bit of a jog, do it. If you cannot, make sure you're doing dynamic stretching at home. Dynamic stretching may include things like just simple toe touches. Bring it back up and going lower, each rep down. This will stretch out your hamstrings. You can also hold onto a wall if you don't have good balance. Take your ankle. Bring it back behind you and this will start stretching out your quads. Bring it forward, bring it back, four set quad stretch, forward, bring it back, and the other leg as well. So a bunch of different movements you guys can do, these are just a couple to get you going. But even though this is a leg workout, guys, your whole body is gonna be engaged. Yeah, man. <laughs> so make sure to warm up your whole body, okay? The By the way, when you guys are picking your weights for your exercises today, if you have weights to use, Go for whatever is heaviest that you can do good form and you can maximize each rep. So if you're doing 12 reps and you can do it at 50 pounds, do it at 50 pounds. Don't do the 10 pounds. Whatever you're gonna do, make sure you're feeling that burn. The first exercise that we're going to do is our dear friend squats. The reason I like squats is because it really incorporates the majority of your muscles, if not all of them, depending on if you can use weights for your upper body, etc., etc. If you're fortunate enough to have dumbbells during quarantine, the standard way that a lot of people do squats is holding your dumbbells to your side. The first squat type we're gonna do is neutral stance, meaning that your feet are just shoulder width apart. You're going to do two sets of 12 reps each. So a squat looks like this. Bring it down and up. Keep your back straight, your chest up. The only reason I personally don't like doing dumbbell squats like this is because I've got wider hips, so that means I have to hold my arms out, which is just a little bit uncomfortable and takes away from focus of doing the squats and me pushing my arms on. So the other way that you can do squats with dumbbells, if you have the same problem like me, is lift that dumbbell up and hold it in front of you. The other way that you can do dumbbell squats as well is holding the dumbbell in front of you. So if you can't lift it to your chest, that's okay. There are many ways that you can hold the dumbbell to do your squats. Pick whatever is most comfortable for you. So you're doing that exercise 12 times 12 reps, two times. So do it 12 times rest for about 30 seconds, and then do it another 12 times. If you do not have dumbbells, and if you have resistance bands, put your resistance band on. Depending how much resistance band your resistance band has, I want you to do this. If you've got strong resistance bands, I just want you to hold it for two seconds, bring it back up, make sure to squeeze your glutes to the top. If that, doesn't, if that isn't enough resistance for you, I want you to pulse at the bottom five times. If you don't have a resistance band, you can do that same movement um, and pulse at the bottom of your movement five times and come back up, that's one rep. So you're doing that 12 times, two sets again. Okay? Take a rest and then you go into our next two sets. Your next two sets are going to be reverse lunges, focusing on the gluteus, maximus, minimus, medius. <laughs> Three major muscles in the glutes. <laughs> if you have dumbbells, bring that dumbbell in front of you. Again, you can hold your dumbbells to your side, but even with lunges for me, 
it's uncomfortable to bring it back. So a reverse lunge is simply bring your foot back. A reverse lunge is simply bring your foot back, lunge backward in a controlled motion. Left leg, right leg, that's one rep. Left leg, right leg, that's one rep. Your base, you're barely putting any weight on that rear foot. You're really using it to kind of just keep you balanced and doing that it will help you really get some action in your boots. If you have resistance bands, this is what you do with your reverse lunges. If you have a thick band like this one, you may have a harder time having it expand as far as your lunge, but do your best to get low. Remember, control movement. You should feel these glutes activate. Left leg, right leg is one rep. You're doing your reverse lunges for 12 reps, two sets. So do it 12 times. Left leg, one leg is one rep. Rest for about a minute. And then next, go to your next set. The next exercise we have is also two more sets of sumo squats. <laughs> so back to the squats again. Sumo squat is different from a standard squat because standard neutral stance squat is your feet are shoulder width apart like this. Sumo squat, your legs are out, your feet are pointing slightly outward and you're squatting down. Sumo squats, it's really hard for me to put those dumbbells out because now my hips are even, my legs are even in my way of the dumbbells. So I definitely, for sumo squats, hold it in front of my chest or bring it down here. If you have dumbbells, sumo squat looks like this. For the sumo squats, you can also use resistance bands. Mind you, it's gonna be a lot harder than the neutral stance squats because now your legs are even further apart. But it's all possible. Just push. Push it real good. <laughs> legs further apart, toes pointed outward. If it's not hard enough, pulse at the bottom five times. For the people without resistance band, pulse at the bottom five times, 10 times, whatever it takes to feel your legs and your glutes working. You're doing the sumo squat for two sets, 12 re reps each set. Next exercise is standing calf raises. In the gym, you would go to a machine, put some pads on top of you, adjust the weight, and do your calf raises. But here, we don't have that machine. So you can hold your dumbbells on either side of you and simply raise your calves. You're going to do this for two sets, 15 reps. Don't rush through it. Make sure you're taking your time with each rep and make it count. If you don't have weights, uh, you can't really use resistance band for this exercise, but what you can do is do single leg calf raises and you'll want to hold it at the top. Make sure you're holding a wall or a sturdy chair for stability. One leg is up. The other one is lifting your entire body. Pause at the top for a second or two and bring it down slowly. You're going to do that 15 times. One left leg, right leg is one rep. So 15 reps, two sets. Make sure to rest and drink your water between your sets. If you still have energy for your work after your workout, what you can do is burn out with some burpees. Good old burpees. A burpee looks like this. I'm not gonna do explosive jumping because neighbors. Down from a push up, jump up, reach for the sky, back down, push up, reach for the sky. Ta da! <laughs> 
right guys, I hope that workout is enjoyable. I will make sure that I put the full exercise maybe right here. All right guys, that's the end of the workout. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you got a sweat in. If there's workouts that you do at home that you super, super love, what is it? Put it in the comments below, I'd love to know. Um, and if you guys wanna see more content from this mug, hit that subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 every time this baby gorilla posts a video. All right guys, have a great day, see ya.